What's up guys, Rob from ClicksGeek.com and today's video is going to be very short and very beginner-ish, okay? So if you're a current subscriber, this might not really apply to you. Um, we're going to show you how to add a new user to your Google Ads account. Now that could be, you know, just another employee you want to add to manage the account or it could be another firm you're having to hand over to manage your account. There's a few things you got to do in order to uh, get that user access and we're going to go through that today. So before I get into that, if you're new to the channel, don't forget to subscribe and check out the links in the description. We have tons of free content in there. And um, if you're an existing subscriber, as I said, this might be a little um, beginner-ish for you, but we got to get through it. So, all right, <clears throat> I'm going to go into my Google Ads account here. I'm going to move my head out of the way. I'm going to come up here. I don't know if you're going to be able to see this. So there's a little wrench icon. It says Tools and Settings. You're going to click that. It's going to give you this drop-down box here. You're going to come down to Access and Security. see if I can move this for you guys so you can see everything here all right so you should see this um, you'll have your user ID in here for whatever the account is and all your information about it the type of access level it is so if you're trying to add a new user all you're gonna do is hit this blue plus sign you're gonna put the email address of the user but before we get to that there's something you have to know first if you go into security and go to allowed domains if your user is on another domain it's important you add that domain here okay otherwise you won't be able to add the user so obviously we put gmail for all of our gmail accesses and our other websites and stuff for for our users so you want to make sure you put that there first we come back over to users once you have that done hit the blue plus sign Put in the email address of the new user and you get to decide their access level to the account. Now, this is really important. So there's a few different access levels here and you can see they're all listed out on what, what the uh, user actually can do. I would not give any user admin access unless you know it's you or your, your company or something like that or one of your um, high level employees. It's because they could they have access to everything that they can change users, they can change account stuff, they can do pretty much everything. It's it's a uh, car blanche access. Standard is the this is a normal for like your account managers and stuff like that if you're a PPC agency. Read only is if you want someone to uh, just kind of be able to look at the accounts but not make any changes really. You can see here there's a few things they can't do like they can't edit billing information. They can't even edit the campaigns. All right, and then there's billing users and then there's email only or they view reports. So you have to choose your users based on the access you want them to have. And that's that's it. Then you just hit you choose your put your email in, choose your access level, hit send invitation. That user will then get emailed an invitation from Google Ads, and they accept and they can access your MCC or your um, account or whatever. And that's really it. That's all I got for you guys today. Like I said, very short video, uh, just a, a common question that we keep coming across. So I thought I would answer it. All right, guys, don't forget. Like I said, subscribe to the channel. Check out the links in the description, and I'll see you in the next video.